The fires around LA and all of the West Coast felt post-apocalyptic. The sky was shades of acid yellow to orange and ash fell from the sky like snow. When you stepped outside, your eyes instantly stung and smoke filled your lungs. I was scheming hard about how to move to a country that believes in climate change. For starts, my oldest daughter was spending hibernation at her dad's vacation house in upstate New York. She called me for some cooking advice. All of my children are really good cooks now. I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, so I'm melting some dark chocolate and I want to make it into chocolate chunks for cookies ultimately. You know, like break the pieces up and... Mm, gotcha, gotcha. But I'm like not eating refined sugar these days. So I was wondering what would be the best sweetener if I wanted to do that, right? I have maple syrup or honey or coconut sugar. If you want to get it hard and then melt it in the cookies, I'd go with the coconut sugar. The others would be great for a sauce or, well, lots of other things. But for a chocolate chunk cookie, I'd go for the coconut sugar and put the chocolate in the fridge to harden before you break it into the hard pieces. Okay, yeah, sounds good. How is everyone out in L.A.? It looks like the fires are pretty bad. Can you see them? Well, you know, I'm really close. I'm at Gina's house in Eagle Rock, but I can't see them. Do you remember when that fire was so close to our old house and I was working on a commercial at Canners, but I could see the flames, the, like the actual flames burning right up to our house. Oh my gosh. Was that when you called Max and then told him to hose off the roof? Yes, that's exactly the time. I helped him. I remember I got the back and then he got the front and then we climbed the roof and watched the fire. <sighs> oh gosh. I miss that house so much. We all do, Mom. It's okay. You'll get another one. You know what Gina reminded me of? I totally forgot that Uncle B wrote a song about Vern. He's the one who told me to hose off the roof if there were any fire dangers. Oh my God, Vern! They were so sweet! When we were little, they got Halloween candy just for us. <laughs> they loved it when you came over for Halloween. He just got a little irritated when you all turned into teenagers and had parties after midnight. <laughs> no fair. You were having parties long before any of us did, so that was your fault. Uh, wh uh, yeah. Oh, okay, you're right, but, you know, your brother's last Halloween party broke the record for the most police, let's face it. Okay, Mom, that is not even fair, because that was your party, too. Okay, okay, you're right. But a ton more of Max's friends showed up, and then they wouldn't leave. God. We had, like, six cop cars there at 5 a.m. <laughs> no wonder Vern was pissed. <laughs> Vern. Oh, my. So, my dear, I hear you have news. <laughs> yeah. Max told you? Well, he told me something. I think I have a boyfriend. Oh, my, I'm so happy. Yay. <laughs> I think I'm in love. <sighs> Even better. Maybe don't tell Paloma. Never mind. I, that is so good. Say yes to love. Love is everything. No matter what happens, no one can ever take that love away from you. Mom, you're the best. You know what? He's hot. He, and smart. Well, that's all good. The smart is a must with you, sweetheart. Yeah, it totally is. Oh, Mom, I gotta go. My really odd boyfriend is pulling in the driveway, so... Oh, my God. Okay, honey. Hey, I miss you so much. <laughs> I miss you too, Mama. See you. Bye. You are listening to The Last Saturday Night based on true stories during our COVID lockdowns. Starring Sherilyn Fenn, Jennifer Lee Cox, Eric Roberts, and Ed Asner. With Chris Browning, Tim Russ, Vincent M. Ward, Allison Dunbar, Darren Jacobs, Belle Adams, and Hannah Aleem. Created by Jennifer Nash. Well, I just guess I was the luckiest mama bear in the whole world. I had four amazing children that loved me, loved each other, were smart and kind. What more could you ask for? Oh, well, I guess some people ask for the dads or husbands to be stellar or present. 
or communicate or even loving or generous, that just wasn't my fate in this life so far. I seemed to fall in love with men that were like, like Molotov cocktails. They burned bright and hot for a minute and then they exploded. Someone asked me what was wrong with me recently. That's easy. Every major screw up I've done has been because of a love relationship with a Molotov cocktail. Love is blind. Love is deaf, dumb, and blind. What what time is it? Is it is everything okay? It's only two in the morning. Okay, what's up? I don't think I'm okay. What happened, Paloma? Uh, I tried to go out with a boring guy. Boring guy? Yeah, the one I threw at Aaron. Phil's a boring guy with a good job. It's been super hot here, so we went to the beach, and he was like all hey to these two hot young chicks in their 20s who were in teeny bikinis, and I was like, you know them? They had a shit ton of tats, side note, and boring. Phil said, they're strippers, and I was like, did you date them, or are you a regular at their club? And he said, no, I just know them from the beach. So I said, okay. Well, I just want you to know that I am not in my 20s, and I am not a stripper. So expectations on the bikini reveal, Phil. And then what happened? Well, I took my clothes off on the beach, and you know, I'm not a 20-year-old stripper, but I'm pretty fit for my age right now. And? So I didn't fail the bikini test, and he asked, me to his fancy condo and it was crazy why what was crazy crazy sex no not crazy sex no sex i got to his super fancy condo and there was nothing on the walls there was nothing on the surfaces not even an ashtray nothing the whole place was painted gray and literally void of character a black hole a gray hole No magnets on the fridge, no calendar, no family photos or art of any kind. Oh, my God. Maybe he's a serial killer. That's what I was thinking. Oh, jeez. What happened? Well, I hightailed it right out of there. Good move. Okay, Will. Fetch your hair. Please make Dad help with the house in France. Need house. French boys. Pretty sure French guys like art. I'll try. Ooh, good night, Paloma. Ed and I were hatching a plan. We figured out if we could get 10 people on board, we could rent a private jet to drop us off in Normandy and Prague. Perfect. Mark was coming too. I was delighted that my daughters were doing well. My oldest son was with a girl that was super great, and maybe August Blue could find love in France. Not to mention Paloma. The mission was clear in my mind. Possible escape hatch or family investment slash vacation house. I put an offer on a sweet country house in Normandy with a mill stream and a view. Now it was all up to Dad to come up with the money. Hi, beautiful Sky. I'm inviting you to the family Zoom meeting. Okay, when? Tomorrow night, 8 p.m. your time. Cool, I'm in. Is Izzy coming? Yes, everyone. Even George. Okay, I'll be there. Love you, Mama Bear. Oh, I have big news. Yeah? I got a kitten and a boyfriend. Ah, awesome (laughs) sauce, honey. That makes me so, so happy. I know, I'm so happy. Try to cancel everything.
Make you believe. We'll make you believe. We'll make you believe. Fight back. Hey, hey, mom, mom. <sighs> mom left her phone. Hello? Hey, mom. I got your message. It's not her. Sorry. It's me. She left her phone here. Oh, hey, Blue. I haven't spoken to you in ages. That's okay. What's going on with you? You're in New York now? Yeah, well, I lost my job and my house in Colorado, so I just came up here to Dad's vacation house. It's been a crazy summer. How are you and Mom? We're okay. She's out buying tons of pencil bags right now to throw at homeless people. What? No, no. Okay, that, that sounded bad. She's throwing things at homeless people? That sounded really bad. No. Her and her friend Gina are both feeling really, really bad about the homeless people here. It's like totally exploded since March, Izzy. It's crazy. Oh god, I bet. That makes sense. And now it's even worse because they're living outside and the air quality is basically poison here. Jeez. So, Gina and Mom want to give the homeless people that are on so many street corners, you know, begging, some money. But they don't want to get sick. So, their plan is to fill pencil bags with the cash and throw it out the window to the homeless people. <laughs> she doesn't even have any money, does she? More than the homeless people, I reckon. Ah. Uh. Our mom. Well, um, she left me a message about some family Zoom thing. Yeah, you should come. Definitely. Okie dokie. I'll be there. I'd assembled the troops, and now it was time for the real skinny. Let's see how this goes. Delighted to see you all. Why are we having this Zoom meeting? Alan, will you play us in? Alan is giving me free clarinet lessons. That's, that's great. You've been practicing. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that, Paloma. that's something. Paloma, just, wow. You know, if you love me, you'll never play that thing again. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know, I love you, Paloma, but you need some more lessons. Alan, how long have we known each other? I don't like to say it out loud, George. Too long. I'm not that bad. I think you're pretty good, Paloma. Yeah, keep up the good work. We know what we are, but know not what we may be. You're doing good, kid. Ladies and germs. Oh, I think the meeting has begun, people. Gigi's getting theatrical. We are in strange times. To say the least. Strange as fuck. End times. It is way worse than strange. We have seen better days. That is why this meeting is called. We're moving to France! Really? I'll come. I'll do the dishes. Hey, that's my job. Well, we've been looking at a place there. I mean, it's not fancy. Why not, Gio? You love fancy. Well, I'm not a rich man. I like to pretend I am with the ladies, but I have very limited funds. <laughs> Did you invest in Tupperware? I bought plenty of Tupperware. Got no leftovers to put in them. No woman to cook for him, and I'm all alone here. I meant Tupperware stock in the company. <sighs> Dang, Gio. If you listen to Mom, he'd made enough to buy the French house. Wish I'd bought more. My Tupperware stock is killing it. Gio, you took me on a super vacay. Buy a fancy place. This country is whack right now. I'll take not fancy. I'll help fix it up. I can paint. <laughs> you can't paint. <laughs> You're right. I'll uh, drink wine and watch you paint. George, you got some pressure building. We'll all come visit and love it. Dude, I mean, I'm sorry, Dad. We need this place. The West Coast is burning up. Well, I have news. What is it? Let me tell you the way I want to. It's my news. Don't torture us. As if I would torture my granddaughter. Did you get it? Hold on now. What's the damn news? I could use some good news. I didn't say it was good. Jesus Christ, no more bad news. I didn't say it was bad news. Do you think you could possibly behave a little less like yourself? Dad, you're being maniacal. The early bird gets the worm, you know. What the hell does that mean, Dad? Yeah, Geo. Seriously? What the fuck? Gigi, did Dad buy a bird? No, 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 I would never buy a bird. Just think, the early bird got the worm. Hey. Oh my gosh, you got the house? With the mill stream? Early bird got the worm, kids. <laughs> Thank you, baby Jesus. We're going to France? Just for the record, I am seriously coming with you. Well, I'm coming too. Paloma needs more lessons. You said it yourself, George. J'adore la pause. Gu guys, 
guys. I have news, too. Sorry to rain on your parade, Geo, but since we're all here... No, I'm guessing it. Don't say it. Do say it. Say it right now. Familia. I'm having a baby. <laughs> Nikki and I are pregnant. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm going to faint. <laughs> You're a grandmother. Oh, no. I'm a grandmother? Wait, it's not just the kitten you're talking about. No, Mom. We're having a baby. A real human baby. <laughs> Damn it! I'm a great-grandfather? That does not sound sexy at all. <clears throat> Call me Uncle Gio when we're in France. Uncle Gio? Dang. Oh, I'm gonna cry. That is so great. I'm so happy for you. You are gonna be a great father, Max. I concur. You will be a great father. It's in your DNA. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm really excited. George, you're going to be a great-grandfather. Congratulations, great-grandfather. <laughs> you're going to tell your girlfriends? Don't rub it in. The important thing is that our family is welcoming a new member. A brand new person who will have this crazy world to deal with and whom we will love with all of our hearts. Max will be a great father. And you will all be a great family to this new baby. We will pitch in and make their life as good as we can, and we will all work as hard as we can to save our planet for these next generations. Right? Hooray for Max! Congratulations! Congratulations, good sir. Congratulations, Max! Come have the baby in France. We'll make pies for you. <laughs> I might do that. You better get a big place, Gio. Viva la France! Oh, so Viva la France! Oh, that's so oh, great! Oh, that's so great! Oh, that's so great! Oh, that's so great! Oh, that's so great! Well, I feel like it's a happy ending to this bit of the story. Who knows what will happen next? But I'm really hopeful and optimistic that August Blue and Paloma can find girlfriends and boyfriends in France. Maybe even me, too. I don't feel like I'm over. But I do feel like we need a good alternative, just in case. I'll grow vegetables, get a couple of chickens. The mill stream thing produces electricity. It's a real change of pace for someone who only ever wanted to camp out at the Waldorf. But things are different now. I'm going to be a grandmother. And that is a beautiful, beautiful new beginning. Bring it on, crazy world. I'm ready to take on anything. Electric acid.